Hey guys, welcome back to North Country. Got a down tree here today. We're out cutting some wood. If you guys are new to the channel, this is a homesteading channel. This is our homestead. We are uh, working on a little farm here, a little self-reliance, a little living off the grid as well, and uh, just trying to chase that, uh, that, chase that freedom, that American dream. So if you guys are new to the channel, stick around, see if you like it. If you do, hit that subscribe button. Push that little bell, it'll give you notifications when all of our new videos come out. Alright guys, so we are out here in the woods and it is fall. You can see the beautiful colors, everything is changing. It's so amazing to be out here. And one of the coolest things about where we are Just absolutely silent. Just silent. No city noise around. No highway traffic. Nothing. Just peace and serenity. But we're about to make it loud. So we got this tree down right here, guys. And this tree has been on the ground for a year now. And I know it's been a year because this tree has a little bit of a special story to it. And I'm going to tell you guys all about it. So a year ago, in September, to the month, we had a crew from HGTV come out and film us build our entire cabin build, our entire tiny house build. And on the first day that these guys were out here, they were getting some drone footage. We were doing some interviews, some Hollywood stuff back there. And uh, one of the guys was getting some drone footage. And he comes up and he says, hey, I need to borrow Chad real quick. So I walk over, I'm like, what's up? And he whispers to me, hey, I got my... Uh, I got my drone stuck in a tree. Can you get it out? So I was like, well, do I need my saw? And he goes, I don't know, maybe. I shook the tree, I threw stuff at it. I can't get it out. So I grabbed the old steel and uh, we headed out into the woods. And we come all the way out here and he points all the way to the top of this tree and he says, it's all the way at the top of that one right there. And it was at the absolute tip top. It just managed to catch the wings and just settle right into it. And I'll show you guys this tree here in a minute. There's actually two little trees, um, well, two sets of trees, and they intertwine with each other. They grow up and they twist um, and they go up. And they're good sized trees. They're not huge, but they were not attached. They were twisting around each other, but not attached to each other. So it made for a little bit of a tricky cut. But that's the tree on the ground right here. So we cut this thing down, his drone came down, I tried to cut it real slow so it would just slowly go over, we took it nice and slow and um, it just kind of went down, went down, went down and as you can see the top actually got caught into those trees back there and his drone just sort of petered out onto the ground, it worked out perfect, um, his drone was good to go, he just had to attach a wing to it or something but it didn't break. It was a very cool event to have a uh, TV network come out and capture the whole thing for our family. It was great for everyone. We had a blast doing it. There was a lot of good memories. Um, and we built that thing in a couple of months. And it's pretty cool. And if you guys are new to this channel and you want to see some of the, some of the uh, video of that, we're going to insert some clips right now and show you guys just kind of the uh, behind the scenes process of what we did. So check it out. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a lot of work for us. It was long days, but we had a ton of fun. 
If you guys want to see more of that, you can check it out on the HGTV channel as well as the DIY channel. It is on Tiny House, Big Living, pretty cool, fun for us. It was a great experience. If you guys have any questions about the entire thing or this video in general, drop them in the comment section and we'll get back to you on it. We always try to answer everyone's questions. We're going to finish getting this tree bucked up. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. As always, it just helps out our channel. Thank you for showing your support, and we'll see you on the next one. So here's a tree stump there. You can see it going up and you can see the way this one twists around. It actually did what these ones are doing right here. And they just twist around each other, which makes it a very dangerous cut. <clears throat> and you can see, looking up this one, this one came from here, came up and around and into it. You can see up there where it like wrapped into the side of it and went up. And you can see how this one is leaning out that direction like that so made for a dangerous cut but it came down 
and it came down right where we wanted it to, which worked out perfect.